Hey y'all, I am so not trying to look cute. I am just trying to get my hair out of my face today. I am just trying to edit some uh, videos for this damn YouTube channel. Um, and I thought I would just do my daily rant. Sasha, no, go lay down. Go lay down, mamas. My dogs, I just gave my dogs baths and of course they want to go out and uh, roll in the dirt. I have been suffering. This is like the third year in a row dealing with fleas. And everybody's on preventative. But uh, I have to keep trying to treat my yard. And I don't like using chemicals. So I try to use more of an organic approach. And uh, screw it. I don't care. I look crazy. I like my little ears. Uh, anyways, a more organic approach, and uh, I have to do it more often, and I have to wash the dogs more often. It's just crazy. But um, I'm getting it uh, more under control this time around than last year, although they have started earlier this year than they did last year. It's been unseasonably warm. Yeah, global warming. Hmm. <laughs> love that I have a Christmas cup. I just love the size of this cup. It's something about it. So anyways, I'm not wearing any makeup today. I'm not putting makeup on. I haven't been wearing makeup the past couple days because I am still uh, recuperating from my micro needling. And actually, um, I am using a new product today. I'm not sure if I got it out of my Ipsy bag or my or my Allure bag. I think I got it out of my Allure. I will check to make sure. And I'll leave the link in the description. I know I always say I'll leave the link in the description and then I don't freaking do it. And today I'm gonna to be doing a lot of that crap. But it's called Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil. Um, this is for all ages and skin types, even sensitive and oily. It will deeply hydrate, revitalize, soothe, and, and tell dullness and unseen skin tone. Oh, and tell, dull, dull, <laughs> and tell dullness and uneven skin tones to buzz off. It will not tell very good jokes or at dinner parties. Okay, whatever. So massage into face, neck, chest area, AM and PM, apply after treatment serums and before for moisturizer or mix a few drops into your face cream as a booster. Um, it has almond oil, Jehovah oil, macadamia oil, Brazil nut oil, apricot kernel oil, evening of primrose, Rose hip, a bunch of stuff. Oh, I like Arnica extract. That's cool. That helps with bruising. Um, I'll tell you, I usually use the uh, Sunday Riley CEO oil. And um, one thing that really kind of made me go about it, this uh, Sunday Riley one was the smell. It's very, um, I don't know, it's weird. But I really love the product. And then the more I read about the company, they really do try to keep things very organic. And they don't add a lot of scents. Now, this one actually, I like the packaging. It's just cute. It's uh, kind of like a peachy color. This one has a little more scent. I don't know if they've added scent to it. Um, let me see. Orange Blossom and Rose... Okay, well, they, so natural fragrance, fragrance, I can't speak today, orange blossom and rose gardenia. So they say it's natural. It's just, by the looks of this, this product is pretty natural also. Oh, it's made out of Australia. Never heard of it before, but that's what I really like about uh, these beauty boxes is um, I get to try all types of new products that I've never heard of 
and that's kind of cool because I've actually purchased some like I purchased the Yenza primer I actually adore I adore that primer it's amazing some people don't think primer does anything um, for me it, I, I can tell the difference but that's just me um, so it also says cute clean and worry free no silicones Parfums, PEGs, Lord, I have my glasses on, sulfates, GMOs, mineral oils, petroleum, synthetic colors, or animal testing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I am looking forward to uh, seeing how this works. I personally probably would not use it under makeup just because um, it does leave a teeny bit of an oily residue. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I might try it when I don't have to go to work and have my makeup slide down my face and see if it does actually help. Because sometimes when you do moisturize your face really well, um, it does help your makeup to stick. It's weird. Anyways, I do not consider myself some uh, beauty guru or vlogger. I am considering myself a vlogger that is just speaking on behalf of those of us that are, you know, over 50. This damn new computer. Hi. Over 50 and find themselves watching YouTube videos of much younger people doing their makeup and, you know, stuff like that. I, I definitely am a little more out of the norm, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of us out there that I just, I'm not very cookie cutter or vanilla. So I like wearing more extravagant makeup, but you gotta be really careful not to look too draggy and so on and so forth. So I'm not trying to be some beauty vlogger, but I do want to try out products that I can pass on to people who might want to try it for older skin. Because my skin is slightly different than when I was in my 20s. I do have to say, um, I am impressed with my skin. It could definitely be a lot worse than what it is. But I, um, I've taken good care of it. No tanning the face. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I'm doing this kind of rant today just to kind of keep, uh, later, I'll tell you this PC, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, I'm doing this rant today to just kind of try to keep stuff coming out. Um, I actually have some videos to edit from my actual video camera, from the card, and I actually found... <laughs> the uh, Game of Thrones epic battle scene. So that was episode three in the last, uh, the last season. And the last episode aired last night. So both of those, I recorded myself watching it. I would say the epic battle scene definitely is more entertaining than last night. Um, I see a lot of people hating on the ending last night. Uh, if you don't want to know about it, stop watching now. I don't want to ruin anything. So spoiler alert, people. Um, so a lot of people were um, really disappointed in the ending in the entire last season. I wasn't. And let me tell you why. I feel that Game of Thrones everything has a underlining meaning to it. I didn't realize that until I watched the entire series over again. And then you pick up on little stuff that they do, they say. So if you think about it, the beginning of Game of Thrones basically started with the Stark family being almost like the main focus. 
Ned Stark, Sansa, Jon Snow, Bran. I mean, just all of them. It was like the family. It started with the family and it ended with the family. And with them being on top and all the crap they had to go with. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, I mean, Daenerys's death scene was so anticlimactic. Well, what the hell did you want him to do to her? Like cut her damn head off and feed her to her dragon? I mean, I my little heart was breaking for the dragon. I know the dragon ain't real, but shit, I was really feeling for the dragon. The dragon was really upset. I mean, the dragon knew when his mama died. Um, so I liked it and it completely set us up for spinoffs, which I will say they're going to have to be really careful, but they could do a spinoff on each character. They could do one about Jon Snow, Sansa, Bran, uh, Grey Worm. I mean, all of it. So I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I hope they continue. I will be a diehard fan with, uh, with all this. And, um, yeah, I hope they continue. I was happy. I, I thought the epic battle scene against the Night King was great. I don't know what people thought. Um, it was going to be like everybody's like oh they rushed it they rushed it did you guys remember hbo actually got hacked i think some of the scripts for the final season got leaked and they had to halt production and rewrite stuff and refilm stuff that had already been filmed because they were whoever hacked them was trying to um, blackmail them saying we're going to release this and they were basically like mm, fuck you you're not going to hold us hostage so I kind of admire them for that um I enjoyed it that's just me everybody has their opinion I have learned with a lot of these series you can't you know think I don't know what I thought honestly I just didn't I didn't know how it was going to end I literally went into last night like okay how's this going to end I was uh, shocked that uh, Danny got killed so quick. I was like, oh, uh, okay. Oh, man. But, I mean, they had to wrap shit up. They really did. It's like, it's done. Um, but I liked it. I liked it. So, anyways, I'm going to edit today. Um, oh, one more thing. Oh, my God. So... Everybody keeps saying, um, you should get Snapchat. If you want to promote your YouTube channel better, you should have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Okay, so I have Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, <laughs> and now Snapchat. Um, it's all the same as the name of this channel. So go look it up, go follow, all that other stuff. If I haven't said that either, please subscribe. Please hit the bell, bell. please hit like, all that stuff. Um, but so I started a Snapchat yesterday. Uh, okay, I'm still getting to know it. I'm still trying to uh, find my way around it. Um, I'm really trying not to be that person, that older person. And I mean, I'm not that damn old, but still, that's like, oh my God, I can't figure it out. Um, like my grandmother had web TV, right? You guys probably don't even know what that was. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know one thing, I do like the filters are pretty funny. And when you don't have makeup on, you could really make yourself look really cute. So I've been playing with those. But, oh, I will tell you, there's a creep factor to it. I am not using Snapchat. I don't use any of my social media for dating. I don't know what it is, but it creeps me out when people hit on me and they don't know me. 
it's it's just weird. I don't online date. At, ugh, I don't know. It's just weird. And I know a lot of people have met their significant others via social media. More power to you guys. But I just find it a little off-putting. Sasha, go lay down, mamas. Go lay down. You can't go outside. You still need to drive. It's, it's just, I don't know what. It's just weird to me. So... Um, is there something I need to know about the Snapchat thing? Like, people are thinking, like, yo, is it, like, the, I don't know, Tinder of, I don't know what, which I am not on Tinder. I'm on no dating apps. But I've had, like, a lot of guys hit me up and be like, hi, and, like, send me their picture. Nothing nude. But uh, one guy did ask me, like, so, how is sex over 50? Dude, go fuck yourself. Like, really? Um, block. I, I ain't putting up with that shit. So, it is... Ugh. So, I'm just trying to f navigate my way through Snapchat. I don't mind people watching my stories and stuff, but I think I've figured out if they're your friend, they can send you messages. So, I'm being really selective who I add as a friend because I don't want to be bothered like that. Be respectful. Oh my God. It's just, it's me. I, I, I'm sh I don't need my ego stroked. I don't need to be told this or that. I just, I don't. It's okay. I appreciate it. I Don't get me wrong. I appreciate compliments and so on and so forth. But I am just really creeped out by the whole dating or trying to hook up social media thing. It just turns me off to no end so anyways <laughs> go follow my snapchat okay guys i'm gonna get on this computer and uh try to uh edit some shit all right